Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tim Petey and welcome to another Let's Play Quickie! Today we're going to be doing some Assassin's Creed 3. Um, more specifically, we're going to be doing a lot of naval stuff. Um, the So Assassin's Creed 3 is okay. Uh, there's a lot of problems with the game. It's definitely not as good as some of the Ezio stuff. But it's not terrible either. However, I have been having a blast doing the Navy stuff. So we're going to take on some Navy missions uh, for about a half hour and just see what we can do. Because the Navy is so fun. Now, I can't hear the game because of the way I have to capture it, so I apologize in advance if I cut off, if I talk over audio, but I'm going to try not to. Subtitles are on, as always. As always. But there isn't much talking in these uh, Naval missions so far. So there's a couple different Naval missions. There's usually ones where you're on the open sea, but there are also ones related to uh, these trinkets that you're getting for this peg leg guy. And there's also, um, okay, so these guys aren't too bad. Uh, damn it. Okay, so you have you have these swivel guns and you have broadsides. Broadsides are pretty cool. And got him. Ooh, that was a sick hit. Okay, so he's too tough. Oh god. Dodge you. Okay, so these these aren't full size ship. We haven't run across. There's no frigates in this mission, at least not yet. This seems pretty quick. If this is it, um... Oh, God. Wait, is that a frigate? It might be. That was actually really tough. These are actually frigates. Oh, crap. So, if you look on the bottom left... Oh, God, that hurt. Um... There are... Where is that little guy? There he is. Let's see, the swivel guns don't kill him. There's these super small guys that the swivel guns will kill in one hit. Uh, those guys take two sets of swivel guns. And you can only damage the big guys with broadsides. Stop! 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 Dodged him, and I'm not gonna miss. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh. Okay, so the big ships have these weak points that you can open up. If I can get my swivel guns up, and you can snipe them and kill them. Nice, got him. Okay, so we're actually sailing into the wind right now. That's a really bad move because it means you basically don't move. But got him. And only one guy left. Oh God, don't want to crash into the island. So we're in the Caribbean right now. I haven't been here yet. Uh, there's these different trade routes, I guess, is where your ship is going along. I gotta go into the wind for a second here, but... Mm, smash them! Oh, God, that was a sick broadside. Fire the swivels for fun. Now he's coming around. He's gonna fire. He's gonna miss. Nice, he did miss. Okay, so... You hear that click? That means that... Okay, so we have no sails open. Get him! Okay, move! He's probably gonna... Oh, nice. We got him. Sick. That was a sweet mission. Well, it took like two minutes. Uh, unless something else appears, which is... Yes, these missions are pretty quick. That's why I, um, I, I keep... I was gonna... I thought of doing this a couple days ago, but every uh, few sequences in the main game, in the story, uh, you unlock another set of three C missions, and I had already done two when I decided to do a quickie, so I'm like, eh, might as well just wait a half... Might as well wait play through the story some more, and then unlock a new tier, and do all those for a quickie. Um, but also, each tier also has a land mission related to finding a map segment of Captain Kidd's map or something. And then there's this peg leg guy right there, right there, who also offers you segment missions, and I just got a mission from him a little while ago, so we'll be doing up to five missions in this. But god, the naval stuff is so good. I guess the risk decrease is like there's these different trade routes you can do from the homestead in this game where you like send caravans out, but I never deal with that. Assassin's Creed games ever since 2 have been notorious for giving you ways of making money that no one cares about. <laughs> yeah, like the only thing to put your, like you can buy stuff in this game, but the only things I really care about are upgrading my ship because the ship is so great. I've already bought a couple upgrades, like I got extra cannons. Uh, I also got a, the first health upgrade. And there is more stuff. Okay, so there's a... Where the heck is... What is going on? There we go. I'm like, when are you going to give me... Oh, I have to rendezvous with another ship? Oh, sick! Okay, so you don't want to go into full sail in these kind of places. And these crosswinds that can appear can actually really throw you around. Let's actually take down the sails so we don't hit... Okay. Half sail. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Keep turning. Don't hit land. Oh god, we hit. Oh god. Oh god, that was a bad one. Oh man, this is some tough maneuvering in here. 
Lower the sails. Okay, full sail. Go. So full sail is like maxed out. Obviously, half sail, same, half, and then, or no sail, where you... Well, we got lots of small English ships coming around. Now, you you can actually... So with a broadside, you can actually kill two of these things in one shot. You gotta wait for the red to appear, and I didn't hit one. Go to full sail, I don't know why it wasn't. Limit ally health loss. Oh, God, there's a lot of ships. And those two over there, they're... Nope, it's just a big fleet of small guys. Now, you can take out up to two guys. I've tried to hit more, and I've definitely lined it up so I did, but it doesn't count, so that should take out both. At least one. Okay, got one. Swivel guns. Oh, God, one of them I think is about to... I think he just missed ramming me. That slammed him. 17 targets. Oh, they're not all super small. Oh, God. Okay, let's switch over to the right side, and fire! Nice, I got the medium guy. And a small guy. Ow. God, look at all these ships. Hope the independence does some work, too. I don't want to do everything. Fire! Nice. Every time I fire the broadside, I think of, um... The new Star Trek movie where at the end when Khan is just like, Fire everything! And if I'm really not lazy, maybe I'll edit that sound clip in sometimes. Like, if I'm not talking when I say it, when I order Connor to fire, when Connor orders to fire. Okay, so if you, if, so, with the swivel guns, if you just really quickly let go of them as soon as it's on the target, because it'll immediately target it and then go away. So if you're really quick with it, you can just get right on them. Ah, oh, shit, see, I waited too long. Oh, God, come on, Independence. Okay, I hit that guy. Can I hit him again? No, target that one. Got him. Oh, I hit him. Alright, I'm probably not going to hit anybody with this broadside. Because it's pretty far, but... Oh, I, I hope I don't hit the independence. Oh, God, that'd be awful. Oh, just short. Still can't get him. Okay, so... Let's set up for another broadside on these punks. I'm probably not going to get full sync, but I don't think I'll lose the independence. And... Fire! Oof. That just owned him. Alright, let's get in closer. Gotta close with these punks. Oh, okay, that one just sank. I guess the independents got a hit with his swivel guns. The enemy, as far as I've seen, the enemy big, the enemy frigates don't tend to fire their swivel guns. Alright, I'm gonna, in, come on, no, independents, if you, yeah, good, pull away. Because I'm gonna go in after this guy. You're really hurt, and I don't wanna, okay. So we're kinda sailing into the wind. Which sucks. Got him! Sweet! We have saved the independence! Wow, I can't believe that wasn't 75% health loss. It was pretty damn close. Alright, we got them all. So you guys can hear all the little chipper, chitter chatter and stuff of your little side guys. I cannot. Um, Alright, so... Full synchronization. Achieved. Alright, so let's go back, and then we'll do the last naval mission. And then, uh, so the other naval mission type is you get these actual, like, story, naval story missions where you go onto land and find the Captain Kidd maps. So you'll also see some Assassin's Creed 3 land navigation, but it's still related to the to the ship, which is the the Aquila, or the Aquila. They, the the main the guy who is like your second in command and who introduced you to the ship and anything he calls her the Aquila, the Aquila boy. But some people call it the some people in the game call it the Aquila, which is kind of weird. But uh, I tend to go with Aquila because that's what he that's what the guy who like owns the ship <laughs> basically calls it. Limit environment da damage. Oh god. Right, so we're doing okay. I guarantee. If that's a if that's part of the mission, I'm definitely gonna have crosswinds. Absolutely. Oh god, I'm gonna hit. Nope. No. I. Ooh. Whoa, that was close. All right, so I probably should have just gone straight through the other way. Oh well. Whatever. We're almost to where we need to go. Let's go to full sail. To the area. Man, it is foggy. I wish... Oh, man, I really wish you guys could have seen a storm mission. There's missions where you have these giant storms and the huge waves and crashing up and down trying to line up a broadside. That's sick. Let's 
got all the Somerset and her fleet. That's a medium guy. And let's build up and fire! Oh, we're just too slow. Kill the little guy. And might as well take out a little guy with a totally overkill. Oh my god, there she is! Okay, wow. She actually fired too late and we, and we dodged her. Okay, let's go to half sail. Fire! Ooh, that was a sick broadside right there. Let's reload, reload. Oh god, she's coming into ram. Let's hit her in the front anyway. Mm. Oh nice, get the swivels! Oh god, I missed. That would have been such a... Okay, get her! Oh, damn, I missed again. Got her! Nice. Oh god. Let's go to half sail. We're sailing into the wind anyway. Might as well slow down and obliterate that guy with a broadside. And you. Or you can even shoot. Alright, one guy left. He's just a little guy. Or he's a medium. No chance. And... Got him! Alright. So that's some of the Navy stuff. Um, I really wish one of these missions had had a storm involved. It's really, like I said, cool to just, like, these... Like, there's actually a thing where uh, huge waves will show up that you actually have to tell... If you press X... You can tell you guys to take cover from fire, but you also have to tell them to take cover from giant waves or your ship takes a lot of damage. Um, I don't know what the guys huddling down does, but <laughs> it makes the ship not take damage. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's go uh, to another mission. We'll do the story naval mission, and then if we have time, we'll do the peg leg mission that I unlocked. I believe I unlocked the second peg leg mission, or the first one even, I don't really know. Whatever one is over here. French involvement. Let's do it. Oh, and actually, it's funny. Uh, my, I actually, so once you start doing the Aquila, you can actually unlock the uniform of the captain to wear all the time, and that's my uniform. I walk around, like, as an assassin, wearing that instead of the assassin's robes, because I just think it's so cool. Our charge, Captain. The Belladonna, under Rodriguez Hortalis and Company. She appears Spanish for all intents and purposes, but rest assured she's a French vessel. French are bringing in a boatload of powder and guns for old Georgie and his patriots. Some colonial boats were supposed to escort her up the coast, but they left her behind. She's been waiting ever since. We will make sure Washington gets what he is expecting. Where is Le Capitaine? I am the captain. You are late. We came as quickly as the wind allowed. Too slow! Wow, what a What happened dick. to your escort? Le Randolph started with us, then departed without warning. Typique. This is why the lieutenant insisted I come aboard. Oh, so this is a Navy mission. Cool. Awesome. Oh, well, no land stuff, unless the peg leg mission is. Wow. The Atlantic is a dangerous place for a lone ship, especially one laden with such desirable stock. You must be glad to see us. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. My lieutenant is not excited for the cold of How is he going faster than me? I'm going perfectly with the wind with full sail. Mr. Faulkner, anybody searching for the Belladonna could be upon us in an instant with this fog. Aye, Captain. I've got a monkey's fist in me gut. What the heck? How are you tearing ahead of me? Jeez. Look at them. They're so fast. Oh, my God. English are on us, Captain! Wow, I immediately held left trigger. Oh my god. Jeez. Sink more enemies than the Belladonna. I'd be happy to. They've got to be in there somewhere. There they are. Fire. Let's see what we can do. We got at least one. Come on, come on, reload. Come on, let's get the little guys. Got them. Oh, we're in competition now. we got to sink more than these friggin'... Frenchies. Fire! Yes! Got him. Oh man, that last guy is way back there. Let's go to no sail. So I can spin around. And... I'll take the hit. Fire! Whoa! Jeez, what are you doing? Ugh. What are they 
<laughs> oh my god, they're right in front of us. Are you kidding me? They rammed into me. Freaking Frenchies. Oh my god. That's bad. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what was that? Okay, that was pretty crazy. So the Belladonna rammed into that fr that British ship. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, let's try to hit a little, a medium. Let's try to hit a medium. Fire! Well. Okay, we got more. Got him. The little guys are so fun to just pick off. Ready to fire, and slow down. Oh god, get two. Yes! Oof, that was so perfect. I swear to god. I can't believe the Belladonna rammed into that guy. That's hysterical. I'm so glad I was capturing that. God, what a dummy AI. Well, I think more shit, Belladonna. I think I win. Oh, God. Oh, I guess. Alright. Oh, my God. What is that thing? Jeez, he's huge! Oh. oh my god. Okay, uh... Hold right bumper to select chain shot? Oh, I didn't even know you could do- I really didn't even know you could do this. What the heck does that do? Hold right- Well, we hit it. You wanna take down our mast? We'll take down yours! Now what do we do? Do we sink it? What do we... Board! Oh my god. Alright. Let's get over there and board this sucker. Interrogate the captain. God, if only we could pilot that ship. Well, so there is gonna be land stuff. This is so cool! I'm so glad I'm capturing this mission. This doesn't seem horribly dangerous. Oh man, look at Connor. Just leaping over. Oh, so that's like in the... There's a, there's a trailer where they showed off naval stuff where he did this. Who's that? The captain? Kill the officer. Oh, come... Really, that ragdolled me? Can... Are you kidding me? I wasn't even... You know, Connor, you're a bit of a dummy. You know that? You're a little on the stupider side of things. Come on, load. Jump over. Oh boy, the captain's in the smoke. Kill this guy. Oh my god. I don't know if he's actually saying anything. Are you... How did he shoot me? Alright, you're so... Come on! Freaking stop. Kill the cat. Kill the guy, please. Please tell me I can actually hit him. This is a knife I've bought by the way. I bought by the way. Okay, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, if I could get a second. Oh my god, this is Why can't God, see, I don't even like the I like the combat even in other Assassin's Creed games more, like here, I can't counter people for no discernible reason. Freaking die, dude! Like, I'm trying to shoot the guy. Okay. We're going back. I really should just shoot the cat. Shoot the guy. I have a pistol. And of course, it's perfectly accurate. Like, there's no Ezio charging up his wrist mounted pistol, which was really cool. I, remember, I still remember doing that for the first time in Assassin's Creed 2. How cool that was to have the wrist pistol. And then like you gotta you gotta give it time to lock on lock on. Okay, you can shoot me perfectly and knock me down, because you're a cheater. But I can shoot you and I gotta reload. Let's see if I can just stand here and reload and kill him. Like if his AI doesn't work until I do this. 
Let's see. I'm just going to test that theory. Because that'd be great. I don't want to have to freaking do this. Alright. That's not working. Let's try this. Let's try rope darting him to me. Pull him into the fire and see if that kills him. I guess so. <laughs> How does the British command know about the Belladonna? British command knows nothing of this. What? Then how are you here? We were led here by a patriot, Nicholas Biddle. Who does Biddle work for? Oh, I think you know. Oh, snap, he called me an assassin. He has the ring. <sighs> well, looks like we're gonna have to kill Nicholas Biddle. What did the captain tell you? Nicholas Biddle led them here. He said. Uh oh. Oh man. Is that Biddle? The Randolph. Oh snap, the Randolph is a mission. We actually chased after it. He is putting us to his rudder. We cannot leave the Belladonna undefended. But sir, she is incapacitated and vulnerable. Let him go. The Randolph was actually in an earlier mission where we tried to chase him, but he had a huge fleet. God, that guy looks like such a dick. French involvement. So we saved the Belladonna. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you know. That's really cheap that the game can rob me of that because the Belladonna literally rammed into the British ship. Oh yeah, that was a brilliant friggin' move, all right. So can we take that man at arms and give it to the colonialists and let them rebuild it? That thing was friggin' loaded with guns. <laughs> all right, we're back. Let's. You know what? We got. We got. A, we're only like 22 minutes. Let's just do some friggin' peg leg. Dead chest treasure. Brave the perilous cliffs. See, there's no... I remember in, in other Assassin's Creed games where you could just jump in place from there. Oh, well. Dead chest island. 1774. We're just time traveling all over the place. We're just doing missions in like 76, 75. The men say Abel Owens. Abel Owens. If it's true... You'll find what's left of him here. There's a lot of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean feel to this. Like, he, this, Mr., um, what's his name? Mr. Faulkner. Seems a lot like Mr. Gibbs. Like, freakishly like Mr. Gibbs. In fact, so much like Mr. Gibbs that it's a ripoff. <laughs> Alright, so let's do some... Hey, yeah, a treasure. They must have been looking, must have for, been looking themselves. for something themselves. Oh, why did I just run up that wall? Ah, there's a way up. But up, but up, 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 going up the cliff. Now here's one thing that other games have not done in the Assassin's Creed series: is cliffs. Back eject. Wow. Jump backwards. Um, but yeah, no other game. I don't want to say that they've never done cliffs before. Like, they've done rock walls and stuff, but I don't think they've ever... Like, look at this. Look at how my hands are, like, going into this crack. I don't think... As far as I can remember, no other Assassin's Creed game has had that Another kind of climbing. Ship. Another Scavengers. ship. So that means I get to kill people. Great. Don't go flying, Connor. Put that down. Piss off. I found it. Tis mine. Stop. Oh, great. We gotta chase this moron. Perform running assassinations. I can do that. Well, I guess we're gonna find his buddies. And duck under. Whoosh. The slidings are cool. The running assassinations in this game are really awesome. That's one of the coolest parts. Like, that you can just, while on the run, just get an assassination. It's really good. Keep running. It's not... It's not, like, as fast as you'd want it to be, but it's as fast as it should be to make sense. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Why are you chasing me? I've done nothing wrong. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Double assassination. Keep going. Hand it over. This guy's, like, alternating between, like, being really cocky and being a huge dick. 
Uh, what did I just grab onto? Oh. Okay, cool. Climb. Kill the target before he reaches the cave. I, I told him to... No! Okay, I'm gonna restart because I was mashing Y to rope dart the guy. And I... I, I, I swear to God, I hit X when it was when he was highlighted. Whatever, I'll do it again. That is easy. It's basically like one of these straight shot things. Get up. And jump duck. And get out of my way. Get out of my way, dude. Kroosh. And duck. Why are you chasing me? I've done nothing wrong. Man, look at Connor. Just jump. 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 Hey, guys. What's up? Get out of my Oh, come on. I, I don't even care. I'm really not in this to do... A perfect run. I just don't want this guy to get away. Here's the target before he reaches the cave. And then crash. Climb. Got him. Sweet. He had it right in his hand. Where? There we go. Near the wolf's abode. Well, that wasn't too bad. I really don't care about full sync in this game much. It'd be nice to get. And I have restarted for... Not necessarily full sync, but to make things easier. Hey, guys. That was a pig leg mission. Burp, burp, burp. Alright, guys, so... This has been Let's Play Quickie of Assassin's Creed 3, specifically the naval stuff. I probably won't do any more quickies on this game. I don't really have anyone to do multiplayer with um, on the Xbox. Um, overall, it's a pretty good game. It's not as good as some of the other Assassin, more some of the other Assassin's Creed that have come out in recent years, but it's certainly not a bad game either. Uh, hopefully, the naval stuff is awesome. Hopefully, some at some point. Ubisoft just makes a spin-off game called Assassin's Creed Pirate. That would be freaking awesome. But anyway, guys, until next time, my name is Timpedia, and I will catch you guys later.